Hi, I'm Giacomo Bonafina, and we're here in Monte Carlo for a second annual Hero Award ceremony for a Billion Acts of Peace campaign. The One Billion Acts of Peace campaign is an international global citizens movement designed to tackle the most important problems facing our humanity. Every April, we highlight the best acts of peace submitted to onebillionacts.org for open voting worldwide. Five winners are then selected, and they receive the prize from a Nobel Peace Prize winner at the Monte Carlo Television and Film Festival. Nobel Prize winner Rigoberta Menchu of Guatemala is here with us this year to honor the very best projects from the over one million acts of peace recorded on our website in the past year. So without further ado, let's start the ceremony. Good evening, everybody. I'm Jack Bonafina, and welcome to the Peace Jam Foundation second annual Hero Award ceremony. I would like to begin by inviting to the stage uh, the Monte Carlo TV Festival Manager, Ms. Lara Isodaro, to take a special announcement. On behalf of the Monte Carlo Television Festival, I'm happy to welcome you all tonight. I'm also very pleased to announce the creation of the Peace Jam Jury Prize, which will be launched in 2017. The Peace Jam Jury Prize will recognize the TV program, a documentary film that best embodies the goals of the One Billion Acts of Peace campaign and the spirit of the Nobel Peace Prize. We are pleased to embark on this partnership with Peace, Jam, with Peace Jam tonight, and the jury prize is expected to become a unique component of the TV festival for years to come. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now I'm pleased to introduce to you 1992 Nobel Peace Prize winner Rigoberta Menchu of Guatemala and Peace Jam Foundation's co-founder, Don Engel and Ivan Subarjev, who will be presenting a very special award here tonight. So please join me in a warm round of applause uh, for Rigoberta, Don, and Ivan. We're so happy that we have this new Peace Jam Special Jury Prize, and we're really thrilled that our dear friend, Ana Morales, has agreed to chair the Peace Jam Special Jury Prize. So next year, look for the Peace Jam Prize. We're going to pick the film, the documentary, the TV programming that best represents the values of our One Billion Acts of Peace campaign. It's going to be really incredible, and we're so excited to be able to share this with you starting next year. But now I have something very, very important that we have the honor to present to you. Um, there's a very prestigious prize that we are giving here tonight. It's a tremendous honor for Rigoberta and Ivan and I to be able to stand here on this stage and to confer the very prestigious 2016 Visionary Award to Her Royal Highness Princess Camilla of Bourbon to Sicilies, Duchess of Castro, for her visionary work in promoting women's equality and for her extensive charitable work around the globe. She's really an amazing woman. We're so happy that we get to honor her. Your Royal Highness, would you please join us here on stage in order to receive this award from Nobel Peace Prize winner, Rigoberta Manchu. Let's hear it for Thank you so much for those beautiful words, and thank you. I am deeply, deeply honored to receive the 2016 Peace Jam Visionary Award here at the Monte Carlo TV Festival under the high patronage 
of His Serene Highness Prince Albert II, to whom I give my fond expression of friendship together with his wife, His Serene Highness Princess Charlene of Monaco. It is an even greater honor to receive this award from Mrs. Rigoberta Menchu, who is not only a Nobel Peace Laureate fighting for equality, but was also the first indigenous woman candidate to run for president of Guatemala. <laughs> We will, of course, learn more about her courageous life in a moment with the world premiere of Daughter of Maya. But allow me to say a word in Spanish, of course, for our honored guest. Queridísima Rigoberta, deseo una vez más hacer pública mi admiración hasta su persona por el trabajo que ha realizado a lo largo de toda su vida. Para mí, usted es un gran ejemplo que quiero seguir de una mujer eh, fantástica, con grande corazón y con grande disciplina y mucha voluntad en la vida. Gracias. Gracias. The life's work of Mrs. Menchu reflects the same values of the Royal Order, Order of Francis I and the Constantinian Order of St. George through their associations in Monaco, and of course, in the worldwide. My husband, who is here today as well, His Royal Highness, Prince Charles of Bourbon II Sicilies, Duke of Castro, sets the guidelines and the directions of the order's philanthropic and charitable activities. Over centuries, one of the principal obligations of my family's foundation has been charitable and humanitarian assistance and to promote the spiritual and physical welfare of the sick, the disabled, the poor, the homeless, and the illiterate, especially concerning women. Further, I am personally trying to promote with all my strength, equality, opportunity, and stop the violence that is perpetrated against women around the world, and in harmony with the United Nations Women for Peace Association, that recently held a huge march in New York to draw attention to this very serious matter. It is my wish to try to invest myself in making our world a better and more peaceful place, where future generations, like my daughters, who are here as well, live in a society without discrimination. Receiving an award like this one, and recently the Humanitarian Award at the United Nations, is a deep encouragement for me and for my whole family to continue on our path of services to others. From Guatemala to Italy and throughout the world, we can work together to more and more concrete support for the obstacles and, of course, the challenges before us. La unión hace la fuerza y juntos todos nosotros podemos hacer todavía mucho más. Justo? In closing, to co-founders Don Engel and even Suvanchev, I wish to encourage you both and thank you with your important work for Peace Jam. I was happy to be part of the One Billion Act of Peace campaign launched here in Monaco with Archbishop Desmond Tutu just two years ago in 2014. Each and every one of you present this evening are the evidence of its enormous success. Viva Peace Jan, and thank you for being here and for listening to me. Thank you. Good night. Uh, I am very excited. Excited? Así se dice. Excited. Así se dice. Excited. <laughs> Excited. Uh, because uh, this film, it uh, first it's about Guatemala. Many, many the history. It's only in a very small country. Uh, we have about uh, 50 millions. Um, 15 millions 
uh, the people. But uh, also it's uh, beautiful because uh, the struggle is very long, but uh, it's successful because it's, it's very important the citizen participation, the youth, the women. You look many people to participate. This is very important because when we struggle alone, it's very sad because the silence is another um, Enemigo, como se dice? It's like another enemy. It's another enemy, the silence. But when many people to participate, it's beautiful because it's a life, it's a, it's a hope, it's a testimony, it's the collective memory. It's, um, it's because in the future, never, never, uh, again, massacre, never again uh, attempt uh, against the life. This is because I say all the time, we work for uh, the life education. We'll work for the uh, science for the life, the education for the life, not only because we have uh, violence. Uh, no, because we have a mission. The mission is very important because not only today, uh, tomorrow, after tomorrow, uh, every time we can work for humanity. I thank you. I am very excited. Estoy muy emocionada. She's very emotional, she's very happy. Y agradezco muchísimo a Dan, a Iván, a Giacomo, a Ángel, a todas las personas, a Peace Jam, porque mi familia Peace Jam también me ha dado una perspectiva. So I, I want to say my most profound thanks to Dawn, to Ivan, to Giacomo, and to Angel, and to Peace Gem, because Peace Gem has become my family in this struggle. Sé que la vida de cada uno de los 12 premios Nobel que estamos en Peace Gem, que somos parte de la directiva de Peace Gem, tienen una historia impactante. And she also wants to say that the 12 or 13 Nobel Peace Prize winners who are the directors of Peace Gem, they have a tremendous work over the past 20 years, to get, uh, 20 years and they've had a, a great impact. Y esa historia de estos 13 premios Nobel eh, hace conciencia en el camino. And this uh, work, this collective work of these 13 Nobel laureates are helping to create a new pathway for humanity. Así que creo que es una contribución, aunque yo no lo había visto y les juro que lloré un poquito. <laughs> so it's a great contribution, this film, and she hadn't watched it all the way through and it, she definitely was crying while she was watching it. Así que gracias, gracias, thank you, thank you, thank you. Y a ustedes que están aquí. A ustedes que han venido a ver. Muchas gracias. Gracias a la princesa eh, Camila, eh, usted de los pocos tiempos que nos conocemos personalmente, hemos hecho una buena complementariedad y sé que usted es una gran mujer que apoya a mucha gente. Gracias por estar aquí. Gracias al Príncipe Chad. Gracias por estar con nosotros. La queremos mucho. Es parte de nuestra familia y sus hermosas princesas. Eh, realmente son lindas sus princesas y que sigan adelante.
por esta humanidad en paz y una humanidad con mucha vida, con larga vida, que es lo que deseamos. Gracias. So I think you understood that, that well, blessings to Princess Camilla, Prince Charles, the beautiful princesses. Um, they've only spent a small amount of time here together, but they feel, uh, she feels a deep bond, and she feels her heart, uh, Princess Camilla's heart, and the heart of her whole family is with her. They're now a new part of Rigoberta's family, and she's so happy for the time that they've had together and for the work that they'll do together in the future. So thank you to everybody. Now I'm going to give the microphone to Jack who is going to take us uh, to the next portion of our program, another 20 minutes. Wow. I just wanted to, to ask you to please, please uh, give Rigoberta another round of applause, please. Tonight, uh, we are celebrating the second year of the Peace Jam One Billion Acts of Peace campaign, and we will be honoring five groups of people who have, been, who have taken up Rigoberta's call to create a more humane world. But before we start, I want to share the terrific news that our campaign has been nominated six times for the Nobel Peace Prize. And even more exciting, uh, tonight I can announce uh, to you that our campaign has just reached the key goal of 10 million acts of peace. So, uh, so let's celebrate by starting our Hero Award ceremony. Uh, I want to introduce our first award winner for best nonprofit act, Lightning the Path. Winner of Best Nonprofit Act, Lightning the Path. According to Gallup World, in 2013, the 10 countries with the highest proportion of residents living in extreme poverty were all in Sub Saharan Africa. Extreme poverty is defined as living on $1.25 or less a day. Approximately one in three people living in sub-Saharan Africa are undernourished. 589 million people live without electricity. Lighting the Path is a non-profit organization that is focused on empowering women in Burkina Faso, West Africa, where the literacy rate for women is 15% and very little value is given to women and girls. They teach small business practices to women who are living in extreme poverty, offer microfinance loans, and assist them in establishing small businesses of their own. In educating and empowering the women of Burkina Faso, Lighting the Path has witnessed a higher level of income for the women's families, which has resulted in their children having the opportunity to attend school, receive medical care, and benefit from better nutrition. They have found that when marginalized, people are empowered to become self-sufficient in meeting their own needs and improving their own family status. They are then able to help and serve others. Lighting the Path is now taking this successful model and expanding its efforts throughout many other countries in sub-Saharan Africa. Accepting the award is Don Malcolm, founder of Lightning the Path. Please join Rigoberta, Don, and Ivan to receive your award. Now I want to introduce our winner for Best Big Business Act, Impact Water. Winner for Best Business Act, Impact Water. Approximately 8 million Ugandas lack access to clean water. 32 million do not have access to adequate sanitation. Waterborne diseases are a leading cause of illness in Uganda. Thousands of children die every year in Uganda. 
many from diarrhea caused by unsafe water and poor sanitation. Impact Water is a Ugandan social business that delivers safe drinking water to schools. They offer modern water purification systems, preventive maintenance and multi-year zero interest credit terms to help make it possible for schools to have access to clean water in an easy, affordable and sustainable way. By using water purification systems, schools no longer have to boil water for the drinking water needs of their students, leading to immediate time and money savings. Impact Water began in Uganda in 2012 and is already servicing 950 schools and nearly half a million students. Impact Water's goal is to expand into 5,000 Uganda schools by the year 2018. Accepting the award are Mark Torgensen and Diane Conga for Impact Water. Now I want to introduce our winner for our best university act, Universidad Javeriana. Winner of best university act, Universidad Javeriana. Colombia's longest running civil war has left nearly a quarter million people dead and more than five million displaced since it began in 1966. The war involving the Colombian government, paramilitary groups, crime syndicates and left-wing guerrillas has affected most regions of Colombia and has included 23,154 assassinations, including the murder of at least 2,700 community leaders. Peace negotiations to end the civil war began in 2014. Still, 54 human rights activists were killed last year, highlighting the ongoing danger and the dire need for more peace building and conflict resolution work to heal the wounds of war in Colombia. For the past 10 years, the Institute for Intercultural Studies at Javeriana University has been doing the difficult and dangerous work of mediation and facilitation between paramilitary groups, businessmen, indigenous natives, African descendants, and others who have suffered during the civil war. They continue to bring opposing groups to the same negotiating table, acting as mediators who respect the rights of each group involved and who guarantee a fair process for negotiating a solution to long-standing conflicts. They are also providing training, advocacy, and support for social and political discourse, helping to customize and define new paths to trust building and peace building, while helping to eradicate the violence of the past and creating a pathway for joint transformation. Accepting the award is Manuel Ramiro Muñoz, director of CEI at Universidad Javeriana. Now I want to introduce our winner for up and coming peacemaker, Peace Jam Greece. Winner for best up and coming peacemaker, Peace Jam Greece. It is estimated that more than 18,000 young people who are unaccompanied minors have crossed the borders into Greece as refugees of war since June of 2015. Another 10,000 young refugees are reported to be missing in Europol and others fear that they may have fallen victim to the horrors of human trafficking. Since government action has been non-existent in offering help to these young refugees, non-profit organizations like ARSA's Youth Refugee Shelter have stepped in to fill the void and the students who are members of the Peace Jam program in Greece have stepped up as well, offering to partner with ARSA's to gather the supplies that are so badly needed by these refugee youth. Early this year, the Peace Jam Greece students started by collecting clothing which they donated to the shelter. 
but as they learned more, they saw that the needs of the young refugees were much greater. So they created a new life bag project to supply backpacks filled with clothing, hygiene products, raincoats, flashlights, food, safety gear, and school supplies to refugee children in Athens and four other shelters in the northern region of Greece. Peace Jammers in Greece have pledged to continue providing life bags to those in need and to also identify other ways to help these vulnerable young refugees in the months and years ahead. Accepting the award is Ellen Frustis, Georgina Vignotis, and Liana Pena. Now, I want to introduce our final winner for Best Youth Act, Umara Bachman. Winner of Best Youth Act, Umara Bachman. Umara Bachpan is a campaign for a safe and healthy environment for young children growing up in urban poverty. 65 million people in India live in slums. Less than one third have access to toilets, so people often defecate in the open, which in turn pollutes the drinking water and leads to severe illnesses and sometimes death. Amara Bajpan is a community-based youth movement that believes that children understand best exactly which parts of their neighborhood are unsafe, where waste is dumped and where improvements should be made. After studying their slum for 45 days, the youth create maps recommending the best locations for trash disposal areas, public toilets, and safe public play areas. The leaders from these youth clubs then present their work to local government officials. Amara Bachpan's goal is to engage the youth in India's most vulnerable areas to become the next generation of human rights leaders for their own communities, empowering them through education and involving them in the process of literally building a better future for themselves. What started as an experiment in a small slum four years ago has emerged as a national movement. Amara Bajpan hopes to create a constituency of 5,000 child leaders in 11 municipalities to reach over 1 million children by the year 2019. Accepting the award are Jasmine Nisa, Rupa Kumar Gouda, Utsa, and Shwadanjali Sahu. So we would like to request your Royal Highness to please come back on stage and to join us for a group photo for everyone who was honored here tonight. And we're so proud to be part of this international movement where good is being done, where we're creating a more humane world. We're answering the call of Rigoberta Menchu to work together because it doesn't have to be the way it is. And together we can make it different. So please welcome uh, Princess Camilla to the stage for her.
some quick thanks, so please um, join me in thanking uh, um, His Serene Highness Prince Albert II for his incredible support over the past three years. Thank you to the Monte Carlo Television and Film Festival, to the sponsors of our One Billion Acts of Peace campaign, including Google, Wells Fargo, The Points Guy. Thank you to the Education Ministry and the School Districts of Monaco, to Madame Bonal and Muriel Bubio in particular. Thank you to all six of our incredible, inspiring award winners here tonight, to your Royal Highness, to Lighting the Path, to Impact Water, to Humaro Bachpan, to Heverriana University, and to Peace Jam Greece. Let's hear it for all of them. I would like to thank all the young people for all the work, the hard work they have done over the years, and it is deeply appreciated. Someday there will be more, and we keep adding. And personally, we need you. We need you. We need your hearts, your souls. I would like to do one thing. I would like to ask everyone to stand for one moment. I would like you all to turn to one another and I would like for you to look the person in the eye and breathe deeply in and out, please. Thank you very much. And I want to thank all the wonderful people in the world and bless you. All right, so now we want the young people in the room, the room to get loud. We want to thank you all young people of Peace Jam. Let's hear it from the Peace Jamers who are here from Monaco. Okay, I'm here from England, from England. UK, UK. From France. Peace Jamers, France. Peace Jamers from Greece. Peace Jamers from India. All of these future leaders of the world, thank you. A most profound thanks to Google Bill and Chu. And thank you to each and every one of you for being here to help us celebrate our 20th anniversary. This is our 20th anniversary. Because of you, it's a great success. So thank you. We love you. And we hope to see you here next year. Thanks so much. So inspiring. It is really amazing what a difference these extraordinary people are making. Do you want to change the world and have a chance to join us here in Monte Carlo next year? All you have to do is visit our website, onebillionacts.org, and share with us your projects. If your act of peace is chosen as the best, it could be you here accepting the prize from a Nobel Peace Prize winner in 2017. So get out there and get your projects going. I'm Giacomo Bonafina, and thank you for joining us. See you next year.